All right, fellow gamers, Crypt and Panther back again. Some more Game of Thrones. Here we is Roger trying to get himself all... Hey, it's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. Oh. You've got to be practical. You got the best of grip last time. For a fight, I guess. When he comes looking Good. for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? Show me I'll penis. show you. Come at me. Call his mama fat. I don't know. Racial slurs. Well, I guess they're both white, so... Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay. Oh. One trick! Again. Let's try it again. Ah. I see the circle pop up. <laughs> and I fucking went for circle. Again. God damn it. Alright. There we go. Oh. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. Cramps? My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Yes. Lady I Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Godric. No. Can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling Iron Wrath home soon. Yes, well, um... That's why I came, actually. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority, and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant... Pig-eyed prick! Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I uh. knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have well. to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. Oh, that's his army. Please. Or are you just gonna murder me right here in the fucking woods? No. Oh. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. Nice. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. Hell yeah. Let's the go. whole guard. Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Nothing. Let's Griff go. has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. The White Hills still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. 
I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Let's go. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? Queer Arthur. Thank you, Queer Arthur. <laughs> Can you give me a little, little blowjob here? Little you don't know how you? much this means to me. Be to us, job, maybe? I should say. Something? Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Well, you know what Pretend I'm we're saying. still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. Hide and seek in your grooves, more like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go kiss her. Roderick's a player. Big pimp with the limp. All right. Let's go kill this fuck. Ah, God, we we're gonna attack him. Back in King's Landing, folks. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put it Cersei and Jamie. Oh, shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. That they do. Hey, it's Baco. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud White Hill. Lud White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's you nearly time. To Marjorie, I guess. Just be careful, Lady Mira. We're back on our good side. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Over honey cake in the kitchens. Handling guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Well, that's mighty nice here. my ass off. Can you feed me? Don't know what I expected. That was worth a try. Look at the door then. Look at it. No one out there. I'll probably 
break out of here. I can't move it. Won't budge. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. Yeah, I, I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Let's go. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear go. any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. All I right. want you to take me with you. To Tell the North back, Grove. How's that? You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it'll work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Buckets. Sand. Just sand. Okay. Scraps of wood. Can use it to pry on the rock. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Okay, something else. Probably covered with fleas. Probably. Um, what was this? Pick up a sack of onions. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. What was that on the floor? Oh, that might be useful. Stone it. Come on. Ted better get you just gonna eat this fucking honey cake. Garrett, what are you doing? You. Getting out of here. Chip away, chip away. I can see it. it. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, alright? that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. Push, push him. Drag your ass out of the hole, boy. Did you have the onions and the crab apples, or are we going to starve? Close. Keep walking. Nothing to see here. to avoid Finn but he'll turn us in the first chance he gets trust me oh, shit. then we better be ready Let's go. I can get us through the tunnel let's go I can stand around they ain't gonna get caught 
we're going to end this episode here. Pick it up next time. Thanks for watching.